Daisy works for a big company making robotic dogs. By the way, guys, this is Mr. Riddles. Let's get into it. Yeah. They're security dogs, and they react to movement. Ooh, okay. What the heck is this? 2025? Jesus, in the future. One day, our robotic dogs went out of control. Of course. And they destroy the lab. Dude, don't build robots. They're gonna take over the universe, obviously. Daisy managed to hide. Good job, Daisy. Proud of you. Um, okay. What you gonna do, though, man? Now she needs to escape as soon as possible. And there's the door. Oh, God. Daisy can see three objects above bat, a water gun, and a small ball. I already know this. A water gun because robots, you know, if you shoot them with water, they obviously malfunction because, you know, electronics and water, unless they're waterproof, but I'm gonna go with the water ball. Oh, I'm gonna pick a small ball. Ooh, throw it at him. What? Wait, the ball might be used to play catch, though, with the dogs. No, I don't think so. I think it's the water gun. She could choose the bat to fight the dogs. Yeah, but that would be really hard, but there are too many of them. Yeah, there's way too many. That would not work at all. Okay, she could choose the water gun. Is it not the water gun? But it's small and pretty much useless. Ah, uh, that's kind of true. It is too small. The small ball is the right choice. Oh, because they'll all go. Oh, that's so smart. I said that too. Oh, I'm gonna pick a small ball. Dang it, bro. I didn't think. Ah, uh, got the freaking first one wrong, dude. Are you kidding me? Well, I was close, all right? I did say the ball, but I didn't think it was the right answer. But whatever. All right, I got it wrong. I didn't say I was good at Mr. Riddles. Anyways, let's get right into more Mr. Riddles. My name's Infinite, guys. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon as well right next to it, because that way you'll get notified of when I upload. So you can be first to the videos. Anyways, let's press play on the next one. Okay, next one, we have the roof. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Martin is on the roof of a skyscraper, which is about to crumble. Oh, Jesus, what are you gonna do? The only way out is to use one of the elevators. Uh, I, I would not want to do that. He'll fall hundreds of feet. Yeah, not good at all. Ice water that will freeze any human. Oh, no, dude. Which one is he going to choose? A deadly venomous tick? You could easily kill that, though. Or deadly venomous mosquitoes. Definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. Um, I would say... I would say the tick because you could just step on it. So, yeah, that one. The, the tick, I guess. Let's see which one he picked. Even deadly venomous ticks are very small. He could easily crush it. Exactly. That's what I freaking said. Let's get it. Anyways, next, Miss Riddle. I got that one right. Let's freaking go. Party gone wrong. Bob was at an exclusive party. Okay, Bob, I see you. I want to go to an exclusive party. The party was awesome. Great people. Great music. Heck yeah, dude. Look at that guy. Did you see that guy's dance? He's like... This is how I'm gonna go to your party. Hey guys, like my dance moves? Will I get will I get ladies that way? Is that how you get girls? Anyways, let's continue. Bob suddenly got really tired and fell asleep. Oh, how sad. When he woke up, he was in a strange windowless room. Oh, he got drugged. He got freaking drugged. There was no one else in the house. I would be so scared, bro. If I woke up in like a place I didn't know, you can only find one exit, a door. There were huge electric saws spinning around and blocking the path. They just popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> this feels like a movie or something. Okay, luckily he found a control panel on the wall. Oh, it just popped up too. Just a massive control panel. Look Luckily, he found that massive control panel that you'd never miss. Okay, anyways, the control panel is really confusing. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like it. One switch turns off the electric saws. One switch speeds them up. Oh, don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. And then one switch turns on classical music on the speaker system. Hey, why not? You know, that'd be, that'd be nice. One wrong move and he'll get chopped to bits. Uh-oh. Okay, which switch should Bob press? Okay, um, let's do it. So this goes... Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna finish the maze soon. This one, this one, this one, this one, this. Wait, no, 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 I did it wrong. It's I'm supposed to go from this way. I paused the video, I don't care. Um, 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 this one, it's the middle one, it's the middle one. This one, this one, this one, this one, it's the middle one. I win, I win. Let's go. You yeah. got it right. That was easy. It was just a little maze. Anyways, on to the next Mr. Riddle. By the way, guys, make sure you go follow me on my Instagram at Kalis. I post dope pictures. Like that one. You like that? Anyways, let's press play. So we got kind Jim. Don't know what that means at all, but let's check it out. Jim was a kind man. He always tried to help people in need. Oh, what a great guy helping a granny. One day he saw a man with a broken arm. Okay. Uh oh. He was trying to drag a big chair into his minivan. Um, Jim felt sorry for 
for the guy and went over to help. I don't like this. What's gonna happen? The man was so grateful. He asked, he asked Jim to get into the minivan to drag it from there. When Jim got in, the man closed the door and drove off. <gasps> Jim fainted from the stress. Oh no, dude. When he woke up, he found himself in a huge water tank. Why would you faint? No, that's not good. It was locked from the outside. What? He's just a nice guy. He had no idea what the man might do. Dude, what a freaking guy. Oh, so he had to escape fast. Okay, how does he escape? How does he escape? Let's let's see. He looked at the tanker carefully. What's he doing? He's just waving. Um, and soon found a way out. Oh, he's good. Cool. He's chilling. Good job, Jim. How did Jim survive? Um Oh, I know. He he turned up the water and the water filled up and then he got to the top. He swam out to the top. That's how I'm guessing he got out. I don't know, though. I'm guessing he just turned on the water and then it filled up. So, yeah. The water tanker had a ball valve and a hose. Jim turned the valve, let the water in, filled the tanker, and swam out. Exactly what I said. Let's get it, dude. I was spot on with that one. Let's go drop a light. Anyways, next mystery riddle. Can you guys solve this one? Let me know. A kidnapper abducted one person each year in a rog rogberg. Uh, this year, Johnny disappeared. Oh, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Uh, he found himself locked in a room. The kidnapper left some water, food, and an empty bucket for him. Johnny saw four doors leading to freedom. What? Why is there four doors and four elevators? There was serious danger behind each door. Uh-oh, Johnny. He needs to pick one door. The right door to survive. Oh, God. What's behind the one? Burning gas that can't be put out of water is in the first one. A huge man-eating shark. Why is that behind that door? What? An angry bear with its cub? Whoa. Uh, definitely not that one. A giant hungry crocodile. Oh, God, dude. What? So he has chicken. He has a bucket. And he has water bottle. One... Which door should Johnny choose so you can't so you can't put out the fire with water? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um 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 I'm going to say you 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 give the bear chicken. I don't know. Or the crocodile. It's one or the other. You give them chicken, I guess. I have no clue. That's what I'm guessing. I really don't know. This one's hard, okay? Whatever. Don't judge me. He should distract the crocodile with some food. Hey, I did say the crocodile and put some sand in the bucket to extinguish the gas. Are you kidding me? That's so smart. Okay, whatever. I didn't think of that at all. I did get the crocodile part kind of right, though, so... Half a point? Anyways, next Mr. Riddle. We're doing, like, kind of all right, right? Okay, Nick was hiking in the jungle. What's poppin', Nick? Uh, it was his long-awaited vacation. Okay, nice beard, Nick. Suddenly, he noticed a huge angry rhino in front of him. Oh, Jesus, dude. They stood face to face. That's not good. You should probably run. The rhino was about to attack Nick. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you gonna do? I mean, it looks pretty slow, so. What should Nick do? Uh, oh, pretend to be dead? Um... The rhino will lose interest in him. No, because he'll get stomped on. Puff out his chest to look bigger. Yeah, that'll do it. He'll get so scared. He'll get really scared. Yeah, that, yeah, no, definitely not that one. Hide behind a tree. Mm, don't think that'll work. Rhinos have, you know, smell. Um, the rhino will see him. That's all three of them? I thought there was going to be another one. Um, I guess hide behind a tree. I don't know. Hiding is probably the best thing to do here. So I'm going to say hide behind a tree. I don't freaking know, dude. Anyways, let's see. Okay, so not that one. The rhino might examine his body. Yeah, but it weighs about two tons. So it'll step on you, of course. Yes. Puffing out your chest is useless. Did we get it right, dude? Yes. Let's get it. Nick can't make himself bigger than the rhino. Yeah, definitely not. Are you kidding me? And then hiding behind a tree is a good move. Yeah, I, I guess, but it still might find you. Rhinos have poor eyesight, so he might escape with his life. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Good to know. Good to know. I had no clue. Okay, next mystery riddle. Feel the thunder. Okay, we got this girl snowboarding. Katie is a snowboarder. She loves free riding and danger. <laughs> who loves danger? She went to the Alps with her friends who just appeared out of the snow like that. That was amazing. It started down together. Okay, do a backflip, Katie. Do it. Show me, show me your moves. But at some point, they lost each other. Oh, God, she's going way too fast, man. Katie was on the mountain and her snowboard broke. Broke? Okay, that doesn't really happen that often, but okay. Suddenly a thunderstorm began. Oh god, that's not good. Lightning flashed in the sky. Dude, what's she gonna do? That is like the worst thing ever. Katie was afraid that the lightning would kill her. Yeah, I would be too. She's on top of a mountain. She had three ideas. Okay. I would probably just ride down the snowboard, like all the way down the mountain, like the, the half broken snowboard. Idea number one, run down the mountain. B, curl up like a 
baby. Uh, or C, she can hide under a large tree on the mountain. Well, the thing is, lightning strikes trees. So I would probably curl up like a baby because the lightning most likely won't hit you. I don't know. I'm guessing uh, it's B. I would probably want to get off the mountain, though. So probably A, but I'm going to go with B. I feel like that's the right answer. Lightning strikes the tallest thing around, so it might hit the tree. Yep, curling up like a baby is okay, but it won't save her. So it was running down the mountain. Dang it. Kitty's still way too high up to be safe. Yeah, true. Her best chance is to run down the mountain. Dang it, dude. Okay. Well, I, I, whatever. I mean, I did say I would run down the mountain, so I technically got it correct. Not really, but anyways, it's fine. On to the next mystery riddle. We're doing okay. David decided to relax in the forest. Nice, David. What's up, dude? He made some delicious food for a picnic by himself. Aw. After dinner, he decided to take a walk. Oh, God. There's going to be like a bear or something. Deeper into the forest. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Before long, he was totally lost. He literally walked like four steps. <laughs> He saw a woodsman house and went in. That looks like super sketchy, but okay. But the evil woodsman locked him in the house. Why is he evil? He looks normal. Threatening to kill him? What is wrong with the woodsman? Why? The woodsman went out to work. Uh, okay. Yeah, look at his house. Leaving David trapped. Oh god, David, how are you gonna get out? David spotted three doors. Of course there's three. Why would the evil woodsman have three doors in one room? They were guarded by animals. Oh... Okay, got it, got it. One, a big sleeping bear. Oh, God. Why would the evil woodsman have a big sleeping bear? An angry moose. Oh, God, which one? <laughs> and a huge and scary python. It is huge and also scary, so. Um, the sleeping bear. Just sneak past him. Be really quiet. I don't know. That's... I mean, all the other ones are awake and are scary and stuff. So I would say that. Or the moose. The moose wouldn't be that scary. I'm going to go with the bear, though. The third door pythons only bite in self-defense. Oh, my God. Just sneak around the bear and you'll be fine, dude. Unless you're stupidly loud. Oh, come on. Come on. I didn't even think about the freaking python. Stupid. That is true, though. I didn't think about that. A group of rich teens went out on a yacht. Jesus. Okay, I'm a little jealous. I want a freaking yacht. Anyways, they had the time of their lives. Okay, cool. Brag about it more. After having seafood and fresh juice, they decided to go for a swim. That guy's just holding a crab. They were splashing and swimming. Swimming. Nice, dude. Wee, wee. Oh, that was a sick dive. Playing volleyball in the water until a shark eats them all. Is that the? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, all of a sudden they saw a huge fish under them. Yep, I freaking called it. The friends swam towards the yacht, screaming. This looks like a movie, dude. They tried to get back on deck but failed. What? Why'd they fail? What do you mean? Why did they fail? I don't know. Why would they fail? Well, that doesn't make sense. I mean, they jumped off in the beginning. Uh, I have no clue. I'm guessing the people in the boat were scared, so they were going to drive off. So they... I don't... I, I don't know. You have bad friends, man. Get a new friend. I have no clue. Let's see why. They forgot to put a ladder down. They just jumped into the water. Oh, my g idiots. Luckily, it was just a friendly dolphin. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Cool. Um, good ending, I guess. But interesting. I hope they're okay. It was just a dolphin, guys. It was just a lovely dolphin. Anyways, next, Mr. Riddle. Which dentist is isn't dangerous okay so we got the first guy who says no pain here and then there's blood all over him and also he's missing a tooth or like two teeth so very interesting and then this guy looks really good i'm professional but he has a massive saw and i don't think dentists use massive saws so i don't no, I'm gonna guess it's a trick question, so I'm gonna say this guy. I don't know, I just don't think dentists have massive saws like that. I'm just gonna try to fool the seven second mystery riddles, so here we go. These are not dentist tools. Yeah, that's true. A hammer, a saw, and whatever that, a teeth puller. Yeah, that's not really a dentist tool. I freaking got it right! Let's go! Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. If you'd enjoy, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and guys, we actually got brand new merch. Merch. It's not like any other youtubers merch because it's actually freaking dope, dude. Look at that Ooh. So guys check it out. You guys are gonna love it It comes in blue and also red right there So check it out first link in the description We have a bunch of merch on there and also it comes in youth sizes and we have some really sick hoodies as well guys So check it out. You guys are gonna love it first link in the description. I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Peace out